girl listen hunties this bob is really cute there's nothing like chilling with my girls just me and my divas taking over the world What's up, divas and divas? So, you guys, this is going to be hopefully a simple wig video, okay? I'm going to start this off by saying this, and you guys have heard me say this a million and one times. So, I know y'all probably like, girl, then why you keep reviewing them? Bob wigs. You know my head shape is definitely not set up for a bob. Like, y'all may think it is, but I know in my heart of hearts that it really, really isn't. But I do try to make them work to the best of my ability. So I have gotten plain color bobs. I keep wanting to call them blobs. I have gotten plain color bobs, natural color bobs. I have gotten curly bobs like you know curly bobs i like those bobs the best because it gives me some volume and i think it for me volume is really important so i do like the curly bobs though i don't know why every last straight hairstyle is called a bob because it's really not it's a doobie there's bobs whatever so this one from divas wigs they sent me their 99 j colored lace wig so this is a lace frontal okay and it has a lot of parting space do y'all see that part from the inside like look this part is a dumb long plus you don't even see it all it's there honey it's there color is kind of like sporadic because in the back you see it it's black and like in certain areas it's black or natural color or whatever um i do rocks with divas wigs so make sure you check them out because they do have some good quality wigs um the lace was bleached by moi I did bleach the lace, okay? And I also pre-tweezed a little bit of it. Since it's a bob, I'm not gonna like overdo it. It's I think this is like 14 inches. I'm not really sure. I cannot remember, but I will definitely post it below. If you guys can tell from the red in it, it kind of like varies in color, which kind of gives it some dimension. So I do like that. I'm not sure if it was done purposely or if it's just a dye job, but you know, I did flat iron it and I did hot comb the parting in it. So it came out pretty decent. So all we got to do is try this baby on. I didn't sew in an adjustable strap because it's a bob and I'm not about to put it up in like a bun or nothing, but there is a comb and an adjustable strap in the nape. And also for you guys, there are two combs in the areas right here. Um, I'm trying to remember if there was a comb here that I might have cut out. I cannot remember, but I'll definitely link everything below for you guys so that way you can catch it. You know what I'm saying? The density and all that. So with further ado, I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off and we're going to get into this video. <laughs>
think of this like for real i'm actually liking this bob i don't know what it is i think it has a lot to do with the color i have never tried a bob outside of like natural and blonde and blonde don't really suit me in a bob so i don't really like blonde bobs that's like a tongue twister this color is actually nice i just wish that it was red through the entire unit because i would be able to get used to it more like i like it to be all red the color did fade a little bit when i washed it because you know i did bleach the knot so it did fade a little bit just to be expected the dye will run but they do have these products at like sally's i think it's by ion where you can shampoo the hair whatever color it is like they have certain color hair shampoos and it'll keep the red or the blue or the green whatever color you have and it'll make it more vibrant and it'll also keep it from fading so I might have to do and get that because I really do actually like this bob. Like, I don't know, you know, when you lose weight, your face slenders down. So, you know what I'm saying? It makes you look a little bit different. Plus, I like the length. This is decent. Like, if it was up to here, I probably would not look good at all with it. Um, but I also like the color. Like, it kind of, like, brought my skin complexion out. I don't know. Something about this bob, it might be the hairline on it where it's not so, like, thick in the front. Or not even that, but it's just... It's something about this bob that I actually do like. And, you know, they did have another bob that I did for Divas wigs like a year ago. And it was like this auburn color. That one was really full density, fuller than this one. But I really did like that one too. So, I mean, like I'm really choosy. I don't really like the straight bobs. But I do like this one because of the color. For this color, hunties, this is cute. I just wish it was all the way red. But, you know. It came out nice. Like, the hair didn't dry out. Like, the color did not dry the hair out or anything like that. The knots were super easy to bleach. You know, I only tweezed a little bit of them. The lace is really good on this lace wig. Like, this is some good lace. Plus, you get, like, massive amounts of parting. Like, this ish go all the way back here. So, if you want a real deep part, honeys, like, you could damn near part all the way to the back of your head with this one. So, you definitely have to check out Deepest Wigs. They have some affordable units, you know what I'm saying? Like, look really cute. This is definitely a summer look. It's a look. Girl, listen, hunties. This bob is really cute. I'm thinking I'm liking this one. You might catch me in it really soon just because the color. But yes, check out Divas Wigs. I'll post all the information below for this unit plus any type of codes or anything that I got because, you know, I don't even be remembering stuff. Like, I don't even remember the length of this. I'm thinking it's like 14 inches. I could be wrong. You know what I'm saying? Each wig company be having their own thing. But... I have to ask my husband what he thinks about this one. This is cute. This is really cute. I'm liking it. So let me know what y'all think, and I'll see y'all in a soon to come video. Uh, uh, uh,